okay hello everyone uh, welcome back to my channel today we are going to solve a problem of cleat code related to arrays so the problem name is find minimum in rotated sorted array so let's go through the problem so suppose an array of length n sorted in descend ascending order is rotated between 1 and n times for example the array nums uh, 0 1 2 4 5 6 7 after rotation might become 4, 5, 6, 7, 0, 1, 2 if it was rotated 4 times. So whether we have to move the elements to the right or the, to the left, it is given here. So notice that rotating an array A0, A1, A2 up to A of n minus 1, one time rotation results in the array A n minus 1, A0, A1 up to A of n minus 2. So basically if this is the array and uh, we have to rotate it by one time, then each element will be shifted to its right. So 0 at the 0 is present at the 0th index here. So it will move to the first index. 1 will move here. 2 will move here. And the element present at the last index is going to come at the 0th index. That is, a, it will become the first element. So given this sorted rotated array nums of unique elements, unique elements, okay, we have to return the minimum element of this array. All right. So after rotation 4, 5, 6, 7, 0, 1, 2 is it is the array. So we have to return this 0. Like what is the minimum element in this array? So let's take an example and see uh, what approaches can be used here. So suppose the array given is. Yeah, let me take an example. Mm, 4, 5, 6, 7 and uh, 1, 2, 3. Let me create the indexes as well. So, so here we have to basically return 1 as the answer. So how do we do it? So the brute force method that basically uh, comes to our mind is that uh, we iterate over this array once and look for the minimum element. So for that what we can do is we can maintain one variable called min and in this variable we can you know store whatever is the minimum value encountered till now. So when we start iterating over this array the first value will be 4. So min will value will be initialized to 4. Then we move to the next element 5. 5 is greater than 4. So we don't update this value. Then we move to 6. 6 is still greater than 4. 7 is still greater than 4. 1 is less than 4. So we update this min value as 1. Then we move to 2. Then we move to 3. Then we reach the end of the array. So which means that whatever value is present in this min variable is our answer. By this approach, uh, uh, we have iterated over this array completely. So the time complexity in this case would be O of n because we have gone through each element ex exactly once. The space complexity would be O of 1 because we haven't used any data structure to hold any elements apart from simple creating a, simply creating a variable. So the time and space complexity for this brute force method are o of n and space is o of 1 but in the problem it is given that you must write an algorithm that runs in o of log n time so uh, in this brute force method we haven't used the uh, given condition that the array was sorted is somehow sorted like after rotation so can we use this concept of sorting in this array so whenever a concept of sorting and an array is given, so the first thing that should strike to us is the binary search algorithm. So if you are not aware of this binary search algorithm, so I would say like first go through this algorithm and then jump to this one. Right. So how binary search should be uh, applied to this problem. So let's see. So basically if we are given normally a base uh, sorted array, Right, so binary search is useful to find, suppose we need to find whether an element x is present in this array or not. So binary search in that way can be used, useful to, you know, find that element in this array. So how do we, you know, use binary search in this concept where array has been rotated to some uh, extent. So let's observe some patterns over here, it's like uh, so that we can use some modified version of binary search like can we put some conditions over here so that uh, binary search can be applied so let's take uh, this example only 
so in this uh, so yeah so first let's see how binary search is usually implemented so let's me create a different example I'm creating a bigger array uh, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Suppose one, two, and three. I will create the indexes as well. Six, seven, eight, and nine. Right. So how binary search is usually implemented is like we maintain two variables, low and high, and low is initialized to the start of the array, and high is initialized to the last index of the array. So here the last index is nine. So high will be nine what will be the mid value mid value will be low plus high minus by 2 so it will be 0 plus 9 minus 0 by 2 it will be 4 right so here is the value of mid so suppose this was the example and somehow the mid value was not coming out to be 4 and so before that let's see like what is the uh, basic principle that is usually followed in a sorted array so suppose this is a sorted array 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and all the elements are unique so that's the one mo most important condition that we need to consider if all the elements are unique then if you are at a particular element then element present prior to that element obviously has to be smaller than than that element so if that this element is x then the element present previous to x has to be smaller than x and element present after x has to be greater than x if all the elements are unique and in our use case it is given that all the elements of this array are unique so using this condition using this principle that the previous element has to be smaller and the next element has to be greater so suppose while you know processing over this array using the binary search we somehow landed our mid variable on this this index right because uh, why i am considering this index only because if our mid would have landed in any of the positions from here to here till 4 to 9 then this property which i have just explained would be valid because suppose mid was here so previous element is less than 6 and next element is greater than 6 but if mid was here the previous element is less than 10 like the current element is 10 x is 10 the previous element is 9 so it is less than 10 right so this condition is valid but the next element it should be greater than 10 but it is not so this condition needs to be handled separately so what needs to be written in exactly here like if arr is the array If ARR is the array, so if uh, ARR of mid, if it is greater than mid plus 1, then in that case, we have to return this value as the answer. So we have to return mid plus 1 as the answer. Right. And our, if mid would have landed on this one, right so the second property would have hold true that the next element has to be greater but the previous element has to be smaller but 10 is greater than 1 so this condition is failing so we can make use of this condition to mark directly mid as the answer what we can write here is if error of mid if it is less than error of mid minus 1 it should be actually greater but if it is less then we can directly return mid as the answer right and we need to write two more conditions which are generic to the binary search so suppose this is one part of the array uh, this is uh, no sorry so let's see this is the complete array and our mid was landing over here mid value was 4 right so mid is 4 and mid is coming out to be here so what we need to check here is two conditions if error of mid if it is greater than error of end 
right so 8 is greater than n which means our answer would definitely lie in the second half that's for sure so we can completely neglect the first half so how do i neglect the complete first half we can move the start pointer which was start pointer as in low pointer which was initially placed at 0 so we can update the start variables as mid plus 1 and other condition would be if the mid was suppose coming out to be here suppose mid was pointed at this variable 2 instead of here so let's remove this mid was coming out to be here so what we can do is if error of mid if it is less than error of end in those cases i need to move to the left side of the array so 2 is less than 3 so obviously our answer is going to present is going to lie in the left side of the uh, array so in that case i will update the end pointer as end is equal to mid minus 1 so these are the four conditions that we are going to use this is the first condition sorry yeah so this is the first condition this is the second condition these two conditions are used to handle if mid is coming out to be in where in either of these two positions and these two conditions are normal binary search uh, conditions that we use to update the start and the end pointers so what will be the complexity of this binary search algorithm so if we observe carefully that at every point we are reducing our search space by a factor of 2 so overall the time complexity if the given size of the array is n then the time complexity would be log of n and the space complexity if we are using it as a iterative solution then space complexity would be o of n and if we are writing it as a recursive solution then if we consider the space used by the stack trace then it would be log of n only but we can write an iterative solution and in that case the space complexity would be o of 1 so i have written the code for that so this is the code so let's go through this code one by one line by line so we have initialized the start pointer to be at zero and end pointer to the last index of the array and last index array of the array would be size of the array minus one and i have initialized the mid here as well but that is not necessary this if condition has been written to ensure some of the edge cases so this condition is used is uh, is ensuring us if the array is already sorted it means that there are no rotations in the array so in that case we have to return the first element of the array and also if the size of the array is 1 because in the question it is mentioned that the size of the array can vary from 1 to 5000 so if the size of the array is 1 which means the end pointer end variable would have the value as 0 so we will return the first uh, element of the array and this is the recursive by loop so every time we are updating the mid value as start plus n minus start by 2 and these were the two conditions to handle this particular scenario so the rotation part and these two conditions will be handling uh, the basic binary search like we are updating the start and end pointers based on this if condition and this will basically reduce our search space by a factor of 2 every time so that's why the complexity would turn out to be log of n i've written some return one return statement here but it is not necessary because everything would be handled inside this while loop so even if i return any variable here so it won't cause any problem so i will run this code once and i will try submitting it now i have previously submitted it as well but yeah so the runtime and memory usage are uh, both are perfectly fine so yeah this is the example of the binary search so like we this is not a very complex one like if we are already aware of how binary search works so we have to make some um, changes to the binary search algorithm so to add some conditions to handle this particular scenarios and uh, yeah like the basic algorithm remains same 
so yeah if you have any comments on like how we can further improve this so feel free to comment and yeah if you haven't subscribed please consider subscribing and i will see you next time with another problem of leak code so thank you everyone see you